Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Halton Hills housing update. So I am away for a night, so a bit of a change of scenery, but I had to give you the goods because I got July's numbers in. So let's take a look at what happened last week and in July. So in July of 2020 is really when the market started to really pick up. June, things definitely were changing. We were getting that momentum, but July is where it was like, okay, this is bananas. So we sold 147 units in July of 2020, which is a lot of units, especially for a July. This July, we are down 37% to only 92 units. And I think in large part, this has to do with the fact that there's just no inventory available. So if there was... 150 units for people to buy, I think they'd be gone. So now looking at our price point. So average price, no big surprise here, is up. So in 2020, we were at 893,000, just under that 900,000 mark, which at that time felt huge. And now in July of 2021, our average price was 1,082,56. That is a 20% increase. And I mean, it has been the story of this year. We are going to start to see our year over year price gaps kind of close. You know, the first half of the year, we were up over 30%, I think every single month. And so with us now starting to compare the market where we were super, super busy, I think that we're going to see less of a huge and dramatic price increase, but we are still sitting consistently well over that million dollar mark in our average price. So now let's look at our sales from last week. So this is really interesting to me because I talk about how there's no inventory to buy and realistically there's not a ton to buy. A lot of stuff is sitting now overpriced. If, it, if you put something on and it's good, it's moving still. But we only had 10 sales in Georgetown last week, which I don't have my book with me, but I want to say we have only seen a number that low like once or twice this entire year. And so 10 sales and only five of them sold over asking. So a super, super low and weird week. We've been seeing 65 to 75% over asking. This is only 50%. So something to watch, but just like super low sales. This is the Debbie Downer number here. We only had five new listings this week in Georgetown. That is horrendous, like five new listings. I am super optimistic that people were getting their house ready over the long weekend, but we need some inventory like stat because this is a problem. Acton had six sales, which was quite high. Five of them sold over asking. So I've been talking the last few weeks about how Acton has some really good stuff available. So I'm not surprised to see six, which is a high number for Acton, and five of them over asking. Not surprised at all. Um, one of them got over $300,000 over asking. So that's a thing. Um, in terms of new listings, there was only three new listings in Acton, which is not good. Like these numbers of new listings are bad. So Glenn Williams last week had no inventory, so it had no sales. We did have one property come up there. It's under that million mark, so I anticipate that will sell like today or tomorrow. Limehouse had no sales and no new inventory. And the rural market had one sale, which got $400,000 over asking, peanuts, um, and three new listings. So good to see some new listings coming up there. Okay, so now looking at active inventory. Based on what I said before, this should not come as a surprise, but our inventory has dropped again. So last week we were at 69, and this week we are at 63 active listings in all of Halton Hills. We had quite a few properties actually terminate as well, so um, that's, gonna, that's impacting the numbers. But yeah, 63 properties available. Ugh, we are getting very, very close to hitting like the lows we were seeing at the earlier points in this year. So Georgetown, 29 active listings down from 32, not good. We are down in the 20s again. Like, I mean, it's better than I think at one point we were at 13, but like 29 is not good. Um, looking at our price points, under 700,000 is up to four active listings. There's two condos and two condo townhomes available, no freehold under seven. 
Um, seven to 800,000 remain the same at four active listings. The next two price points are the price points that continue to dramatically move up and down every week. Lots of stuff turning over. So in the 800 to million, we were at nine last week and this week we're down to seven. Um, and again, a lot of those will probably be gone next week, but hopefully we'll see some new stuff coming up. Um, a million plus down to 14 active listings from 16. So just serious, serious situation and everything just keeps dropping. So I don't know when and what is going to give in Georgetown, but we are very far. I am honestly just dying for the week where I'm like, guys, this is actually happening. Like I'm confident that it's happening because this is not normal. This is still not right. It's painful for the buyers, like really painful for the buyers. So now looking at Acton this week, we were at 13 last week. We're down to only 10 active listings because we had quite a few sales last week. So still some stuff available in Acton, but that's still a low number. In Glen Williams this week, we have one active listing up from zero. Yay, it's gonna be gone, so there's that. Limehouse, there was a point this year where someone said to me like, is there something wrong with Limehouse? Like is something going on in Limehouse? Because everyone was selling their properties there. And now we are on two months of no new inventory coming up in Limehouse. There is one active listing, it is sitting conditional. And other than that, we have seen nothing happening there. So kind of a change for Limehouse. So now looking at the rural market, we are down slightly this week to 22 active listings. There was a bunch of stuff that came off the market. So at the end of the month, like so July 31st was a couple days ago, that's a typical time when we see properties expire. So that's generally, we get a dip in inventory when things just kind of expire and go off the market. So that's what happened in the rural market this week. So despite our new listings being higher than our sales, our inventory is actually down to 22 active listings. I thought our units might be slightly higher, like to see down 37% is kind of crazy. But July last year was just fire. And there was really a lot of stuff coming up, people starting to transact. That's when people started to realize like, this house isn't working for me in lockdown. I want this, I want that. And we started to see things go crazy. So unless we see an influx in inventory, I really don't think that the number story is gonna change this year because we had so many properties transacting last year and we just don't have enough inventory this year. So I think going forward, we are gonna to continue to see our inventory sold, like the number of units versus last year being down, but our price points continuing to be up. I just think we're gonna to start to see the gap close a bit. Like instead of seeing, this month was only over 20%, it's between 20 and 21. We've been seeing over 30. So I think we're gonna be now getting into that realm of like our market is up 15 to 20% as more of a norm. But August will be interesting. This is a really, really good time for a seller to be capitalizing. People think the buyers are not here and they're like at a cottage or something, but no, all my buyers are here. If something comes up, people are looking, you need to get your house on the market if you are in a position to sell your house. So that's this week's update. I hope you have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next Tuesday.